Hey guys, just wanted to share a little something something that I got today and this is what it is. It's this right here. This is my new Phosphor watch and this is the Phosphor Appear watch. So the name of the company is called Phosphor and the name of the style of this watch is called the Appear watch. A-P-P-E-A-R and I just thought it was a cool watch so this is what it looks like up close the face is made up of all Swarovski crystals okay guys so I don't wear a watch anymore I haven't worn a watch in years and like most people if I need the time I just get the time off of my cell phone but when I saw this watch for some reason I just had to have it I just liked it I liked the way it looked, I liked the way it worked, and I liked the technology behind it. Okay, so this is how it came. It came with this white paper wrapping, and on the back it just has a sticker with the model number on it. And inside, it has this nice black box. It's matte black, and the box is very sturdy. I really like the packaging. And on the front, it says Phosphor written in silver writing. And it has this nice hinge top. The inside is made with nice velvet lining throughout the whole thing. And then the actual watch came wrapped on this. And you can take it out. And it also came with this little tag attached to the watch, which says Phosphor on this side and it just has a model number and a barcode on the back. Then at the top there's this slot and this contains the user manual and the warranty card. So that's what that is. Okay so as I said before the face of this watch is all Swarovski crystals and it has the hour at the top and the minutes at the bottom so right now it is let's see I'm reading upside down it is 1203 I think and then it has phosphor on this little tag this watch has the Swarovski crystals going around the outside around the bezel and I also got the strap in patent leather black so it's a nice shiny finish and let me just take it off for you so you can see so that's what it looks like up close nice little bling bling and the watch I'm sorry and the strap is actually a really nice quality so on this side it says phosphor the back of the watch it says phosphor and then on this side it says genuine leather so it's a nice quality band and as you can see the numbers of the watch coordinate usually with the color of the band so I have a black band and the numbers on here are black and the way that this watch works is that it works by this interesting technology which is called Micromagnetic Mechanical Digital Technology. Okay? So it's Micromagnetic Mechanical Digital Technology. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to explain how that works. So inside the watch there are these tiny little rotors and on the tips of the rotors are the Swarovski crystals on the ends of the rotors. So, an electric pulse generates a electromagnetic field with magnets and that's what turns over the numbers when it's time for the numbers to change. So, if you watch um, you'll see the minutes change. Now, 
This watch is very simple. It just has two buttons on the side and it has a top button that you can push if you want to make the numbers go off. And it makes these interesting little clicking sounds when you do that. So if I push the top button, all the numbers go away and you just have the crystals showing. So if I push it back on, the numbers will come back. Now, if I push the bottom button, this one right here, it will count down a minute in seconds. And you can hear the little ticking sound that it makes with each change of the numbers. So it's kind of neat. I really like that sound. And it's not an annoying sound, like when I'm wearing it, you can't really hear it, you know, when it changes the numbers. I mean, you can hear it, but it's not annoying, unless you're just really listening to it, but it's really cool. So, that's what it looks like. So, if I push it back on the top button, then just the regular time comes back on. Okay, so one other thing. So, I got my watch in black because I couldn't really decide what color I wanted but black is such a classic color and it goes with everything but I really liked the red one that they had so I ended up also getting this red one and I don't know I just really liked it it's really pretty and they make all these different colors so this one is red and like I said before, the color of the band usually coordinates with the color of the numbers of the time. So as you can see, I have a red band and the numbers on here are red. And this band is really pretty. It's shiny. It's patent leather also. And it has little sparkles, like kind of little flecks of shimmer in it which is really cool. This one also has the Swarovski crystal surrounding the face. So this is considered the women's watch, the one with the crystals that surround the face like this. They also make the women's watches with the leather bands in pink and white and red and black in the patent leather shiny finish. So for the men, they have the watch without the Swarovski crystal surrounding the bezel on the outside. It's just like the plain stainless steel um, bezel. And the strap is just a matte black leather strap. And they also make it in another strap which is the nylon strap which is that stretchy kind of stainless steel looking material. And they make that in like a rose gold color, pink, um, white, clear, and there's a whole bunch of colors on the website which I'll link down below. And this watch is also stainless steel and it's also water resistant, which is great. So I really like these watches. I don't know what I'm going to do with the red one. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or maybe I'll give it away to one of my friends as a present or something like that. But I don't know. What do you guys think I should do with it? It was just such a pretty color. I just liked it. So I couldn't make up my mind really. Anyway, so this is the watch. It's the Phosphor Appear watch. Okay, so here are the two watches together. I love these watches. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Watching, you get it? Haha. -ha. Just kidding. Anyway, so maybe I'll do a review on these watches after I've worn them for a little while. And um, you guys tell me what you think I should do with the other watch. Keep it or give it away or I don't know. Anyway, I just think the red one is fun, and this one is just classic and goes with everything. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao!